you didn't know it, February is the month for romance, and no place is more romantic than Paris, right? I thought you were going to say the Live at Nine Kitchen, but we'll go with Paris. <laughs> <It'll work>. okay. <laughs> I didn't know where he was going. Chef L is here with a French recipe to bring a little bit of Paris right into your own home. Ooh la la. Ooh, la, la. With a name like L, it just fits, right? I know it yes. does, doesn't it? But, so you know, what do you love about crepes? Well, they're actually so easy, and people really? get intimidated by them, but they're so easy. Oh, Why yeah, do they get intimidated totally by them? Intimidating. I think because it's from French. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, we're fascinated, but then sometimes things that are foreign to us right. intimidate us. And it's so thin, it's like, will I really get it right? And you really can. I mean, and you think about the ingredients. Flour. Yeah. Milk. Right. Butter. Yeah. Eggs. Right. Salt. Everyone has that Everyone in there. Everyone has that. Huh. And so I like it because if you say you don't have bread or you don't have your wontons, like we've done uh, stuffed shrimp, right. you can use a crepe. And you promise it's not hard. I, I, I thought you had to get them like perfectly even but and all that stuff. Thing. If you're stuffing them yeah. and if you're filling them and covering them with the sauce, who will know that they're That's not it. perfect? That's Could it. you even use it like as a substitute for a burrito? I know that sounds odd. You but. can't because what we've done here, we did a stuffed shrimp. Okay. So okay. we gone to the end. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay. Let's start. Take us to the beginning. Okay. All right. So we have two skillets, and I'm showing the that you can really do this without going out and purchasing a crepe skillet. Okay. These are just regular? This is a crepe skillet. This, this is a regular, this a crepe skillet? yes, yeah. this, this is a regular right. nine inch non-stick skillet. Okay. Are the crepe skillets pretty easy to find just in case they you want are, them? Um, you can find them at your specialty stores like okay. William Sonoma okay. locally right. online. Okay. So, But they really are easy to find. Okay. Okay. So we got our oil heating, and you have to do like medium high heat. Okay. Flour, salt. Okay. Alex. Yes. Will you whip this up for me yes. while I start the crust? Of course. You know, L asks him to do something. He's like, of course. <laughs> hey, of course, you know I will. <laughs> Mary Beth. Uh, yes, ma'am. Are you into making crepes today? I, I will be. Okay. Does she have to be? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> she said anybody can do it. Yeah, okay. okay, and the reason why we're starting with the eggs first in the crepe batter, because some recipes, most recipes actually, will tell you to use a blender. But you oh. don't have to. If you start to whisk your eggs in with the flour, mm -hmm. it's going to actually eliminate the lumps. So then you oh. slowly pour in milk. Now, if your milk is room temperature, there's no need for you to heat it. Why are you heating it then? You heat it because when you add your warm butter. Oh, okay. And then everything needs to be room temperature. But if you're adding cold, warm butter to cold milk, cold eggs, the butter is going to solidify. Gotcha. Mm. So, um, okay, so all I've seen is flour, salt, butter, milk. Simple, we right? Got, we got that. And we'll have the recipe on I don't see you doing anything. She's about to start. <laughs> oh, that's simple. Mm -hmm. when you because guys, you're doing it. I don't so see you. You need about a quarter cup. Okay. You may need a little more, but it's okay if you have to add extra, okay? Okay. So you're just going to pour it into the pan okay. and tilt it. And you hear that sizzle? So you do want it hot. You do want it hot. So it's like making pancakes. It's like making pancakes. It's just an unleavened pancakes. Yes. Now you hold that, tilt it, and if you add too much, that's okay. You can pour it out. How do I know if I need to put it back down on the heat? Put it on the heat, let it cook for about a minute, okay. and then it's ready. And I'm going to start in the crepe pan. That's it. I told you, it's so simple. Do I need to, um, like, move it so that the non-cooked part goes out to the edge? No. No? Oh, well. You see the screen. Hey, Mary Beth, don't do <laughs> Trying anything. Trying to make it complicated. Please. Okay, see, like, here I have too much, so I'm just going to pour the excess out. Oh, look at that. Oh, you. that makes me feel better, the fact that mine is perfect and yours <laughs> had too much. <laughs> Of course, the fact is, L made mine, so. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so is it done? So it's not mean? done yet, oh. so you wait and you look for some brownness around the edges. Okay. And then we can lift it up. It's not quite there, but it's lightly brown, so we'll just go ahead and turn it because we, I promise you we won't tear it, and no. if we do, it's okay. What are these fancy little tongs? These are just little brown turners. Just Brown turners? Yeah. Just, I mean, wooden turners. Could I use a spatula? You can use a spatula. It needs to be a very delicate, like a silicone spatula, something that won't tear the crates. Could I flip it? Yes. Non-stick non -stick skillet, you can flip it. Where are these questions coming from? <laughs> she I wants to know, Elle, can she use a spork? <laughs> oh! I did it! You did it! Right. Oh, well, it's kind of like... Get no, out no, of her way. It's okay. getting dangerous in here. <laughs> oh, now it's all folded. That's okay, because guess what? Take oh, your look fingers. at that. 
See, this could be fun to do. Make, it make, is fun to do. This is something you can really bring yeah, your children in, you know, because everybody has different food choices. So that's what we had Mary Beth doing. This. Yes. Okay. And you see, I burned mine, so yours is perfect. Oh, well, we were so busy sorry. working on Mary Beth that she was flipping. I'm sorry. Now <laughs> I really should. <laughs> Thanks, Mary Beth. You know, we Thanks have again. our breaks. I'll, you know, eat, I'll eat the burning. Yeah, okay. right. We went to France, and now we're back to the okay. south because we're stuffing them okay. fried crepes. You know, we have to have something fried. Oh, one of the got it. One of the viewers requested something fried with shrimp, so now we have it. We so have you just roll it up and then you fried it in some olive oil? We use, I use grapeseed oil. Okay, because it's, uh, we, yeah, you've gone over grapeseed oil. Yes, it has I love, right? yes. Very good oil, very good for frying. Look, See how beautiful that, that, that is? Yeah. What, what else could you, could you do a dessert maybe? Yes, we did an apple dessert with a caramel sauce. Is that one this one? That is what that one is right there. That's Let's beautiful. move this out of the way. You're not going to do anything with that? And would you? I can uh, you know, I, know, I, I worked so hard on that. I know you did. Alice, I tell you what. Right. Let's make <laughs> another crepe with your batter. <laughs> Poor man. He's sweating over that. Oh. Not literally. Okay, Alice. Okay. So, I'm going to add just a little more milk. Keep going, okay. Mary Beth. <laughs> And all these recipes are available at <laughs> chefelgreen.com. Ellen <laughs> looks terrific as always. You are so awesome. Thank <laughs> yes, you, you so are. much. I'm going to stay and flip this one. You go back and work, okay? Because this is so much fun. As always, we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs>